So for today, we're going to be looking at commendations specifically. We're going to be looking at like my thoughts on it, what I think they should change and how it would improve and whatnot. We're also going to be looking at Final Fantasy 14's commendation system because they do have a system. Uh, it's not like better. It's just kind of like different. So you guys, you will, we will see that as well. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts about the commendations are in the comments below, because I would love to talk about this because I do think there is a better way to do this because right now I just think it's oversimplified and also does, isn't really indicative of what a player is or how they, how they play. So again, let me know what you guys think. And other than that, let's look into it. So to start off, this is the combination system right here. There is patient and considerate, uh, thoughtful, selfless, indispensable for the ally section, for the fun section, you have saints, favorite level headed and joy bringer leadership. We have knowledgeable and perceptive and then mastery, which would be the ones where it's like, oh, this is specifically the, the thing that you're doing. So this one would be, uh, where is this trials of Osiris? This one is raised in dungeons, gambit and crucible. My biggest gripe with this system is just the fact that there is no relevant commendations when you complete an activity. It doesn't tell me like this guy killed the most people, this person, uh, specifically, let's talk about Gambit for a second, specifically for Gambit. It's called primeval instinct, uh, led the offense for the team. Um, I, what does that even say? Like, I don't, I would probably give this to someone who is like, this guy was like really fucking them up. And my biggest gripe with that is the fact that the game, it also ties into my next problem, which would be the menu is pretty bad, uh, specifically the commendation menu, not this one that we're looking at, but this one right now that you're looking at. Um, it's pretty bad because it doesn't tell me, it doesn't give me any information. And the dumb thing is all of the results are in the next tab, which I understand why they do that. They don't want to bloat the, the screen with too much information, but I definitely think the better alternative way to do this would be to just show the stats when you're clicking, when you're looking through your teammates. So right now, when you look through an, through a person, their name would actually like pop up when you're uh, hovering over them. Just let us see their stats from there, or just tell us like some quick stats. Like maybe for, for example, Gambit, this person was killing the most ads. This person did the most damage against the boss. This person killed the most rares. This person killed the most people when invading or this person killed the most invaders. Like we need more medals or commendations, which is another point. So the first one would be the menu is pretty bad. Uh, add relevant commendations and add more commendation tiers per activity, which is what we're talking about right now. If Gambit, like let's say for example, primeval instinct, if we just had multiple of like was this person just destroying ads? Did this person do the most damage? Like, let us, let us see all of the options and then give us like the actual like information, like, oh, actually this person did the most work on this subject. And then at that point you'd be like, okay, this person deserves this because the game clearly is telling me that this person did that. That would be a better alternative because I can tell you right now, I am way too lazy to go to the full results see who did the best and try to find their name before the, the uh, menu is over or they just leave. So I think a better way to do this would just be immediately tell me what everyone did in the match. And then I'll, I'll give commendations accordingly. Uh, and it's the same thing with everything. Trials of Osiris, were they the last person to, to be alive and actually pull in a clutch? I know that would be hard to do, especially for PVP, but the most assists, the most kills, um, killed three people in one, like in one go or something like that. There needs to be more commendations for me to actually be like, whoa, this person did really good. Or I don't remember this person doing that. And honestly, the ally section, I think is just completely irrelevant because it doesn't do anything like indispensable, selfless, thoughtful, patient. I think the only good ones are going to be like indispensable and selfless. Thoughtful uh, is weird and patient and considerate. I could probably see this one being good too, but probably be more just patient than anything else. Consider it as whatever. Um, and then maybe just switch them out for other things. Leadership is probably the only one I'm like, these are good because they're, they could be indicative of a player's like knowledge and stuff, 
But most of the time you're going to get these from raids and dungeons and your friends are just going to give them to you like willy nilly. It's, it's not really indicative of anything. It's more of just like you have people to run raids and dungeons with. That's literally the only thing that it tells me. And then for the fun aspect, Joybringer, Level Headed, Saints Favorite. I think Saints Favorite could probably be a good one to keep, but Level Headed and Joybringer, I just don't see these two being good. Again, if you want to if you want me, if you want to give me more incentive to actually give these, let me know what everyone has done in the match or in the strike. So that way I can reward them uh, accordingly. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like, I, I think a lot of this is just it's good. It's like it's decent. It's a decent start. Let me just say that um, I will say remove some of the commendations from progression or all of them, I think is a good choice. I think I definitely am behind a lot of people when they say that. That being said, I would like commendations to have some rewards um and not like not like me giving people accommodations or receiving it's kind of hard because let me give you guys an example so this is my character in final fantasy 14 i know he's bla all black you make fun of me whatever but here is reputation so i have 207 so it's pretty funny because i ended up getting a few things from my commendations so this is a good example of what I mean. So right here, I received 10 player commendation, which awarded me the heart of the party title. And it's basically what, what it is. It's right now I have zero, but I could put heart of the party if I wanted to. We also have a princely hatchling, which is kind of like uh, a minion that you could put. Um, actually, I could probably, yeah, I could just to show you guys what I mean. It'll be better just to show you. So it's right here and I summon him. He's down there just a, a little minion that you can put down there but then you have something like this which is actually something i can put on it's armor legitimately armor or you can get sovereign barding which is uh barding for my chocobo which um let me see my chocobo should be yeah, it's right there so this is my chocobo right here and barding just means the stuff that's on my chocobo so like all of the halloween inspired stuff um then you get a mount which is a sparrow equivalent. You get the other portion of that armor, that you, the helmet that we just saw. We get another chocobo, like all of this for just the commendations. And it's not specifically like, this is all you just receive in game. So it's not like you're gonna try to fish this from other stuff. I know some people would probably cheese it, but I do think it's gonna be a good way to like get some cool rewards from commendations because it also you get combinations from everywhere you get them from pvp which is frontline but you also get them from raids you also get them from trials leveling everything you can if someone was really good you can just say oh this person was really good there's no choice there's no choosing like was this person like fun was this person not like this where it's like was it was it patient and considerate thoughtful no it just shows you a list of the people that you were in that match and you can just come come and um commend one of them that's really simple, but it's to the point, And it's not like this where most people are just going to be clicking whatever they want anyways. So I definitely would like them to add some, some cool things behind commendations, not progression, but just kind of like some extra stuff that we could get. Like maybe we could get some really cool, like a really cool armor, armor theme around commendations or something, or some cool sparrows or something like that. To be fair, I don't think sparrows hold the same weight as mounts do in other games specifically because there's one sparrow that goes fastest and that's the meta unfortunately but there's also another uh, there's way more problems than just that but i'm not going to talk about it because it'll be way too long but for me i the main focus would just be tell me what everyone did in the match so that way i can give them rewards accordingly and make it like actually good like for, again for a gambit this person got the most ad kills. This person did the most damage to the boss. This person killed the most invaders when they invaded or this invader killed the most people or this person helped X and Y and Z. Like give me stats, give me stats of what the person did. So that way I can be like, damn, this dude, this dude killed it. This dude deserves this and change the menu. I think the menu is pretty terrible. Uh, I don't think the full results should, should like leave. I just think they sh that we should be able to see it in this menu as well the main menu when we're giving commendations because then i'll be like okay this guy got this kills this guy did this and then when the uh the, the like title comes up where this person got the most kills then i can actually go in their stats and be like oh shit, this guy did get this like these many kills and whatnot so i don't want to talk too much about this because it's just to the point like i just want a few things changed 
and honestly just add more tiers to the to the activity so vanguard crucible uh trials all of that i just just add more tiers to it add relevant tiers and the other thing would be the menu is pretty bad how am i supposed to know what anyone did display everyone in my team stats in front of me and maybe add another stat to each of my teammates that's what i have it written down right here uh all of this this is the stuff that i'm currently working on and yeah i just think the combination system is really cool i just want them to enhance it a lot more and take some things from other games as well because i do think that would be the smart thing to do so let me know what you guys think let me know your thoughts about the combinations i would love to talk about this have a dialogue on it other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later